mi mirroring language. You will be amazed at the effectiveness of using vocabulary or lingo similar to that of your prospect. Pick up on and use uh, some of the words or phrases that your pro prospect uses. You may also f find it helpful to mi mirror his rate of speech. If he speaks in a slower and more relaxed tone, you can do the same. Ne nevertheless, be sure to keep the enthusiasm high. If he speaks quickly, feel free to do the same. Matching breathing. See if you can adopt the same breathing pattern as your prospect in doing so. It is helpful to observe the rise and fall of your prospect's chest or shoulders for cues. Of course, use your peripheral vision to do this so you are always maintaining eye contact. Synchronized breathing between you and your prospect is su such a su subtle thing, yet it creates connectivity. Matching voice. This is different from ma matching language. It refers to actual tone or inflection of your pro prospect's vo voice. Be very careful, however, that you do not come across as mimicking. The mi mirrored voice you use should never be so different or fo foreign from your own that you ar arouse suspicion. Just ma minor and su subtle adjustments in tone are all that, that are necessary to get the desired results. Mi mirroring moods. When you reflect your prospect's mood, you give validation to what he is saying and feeling. We often verbally mirror another's mood by restating what he or she just said. So what, what I hear you saying is, or I think I would feel the way that way too if I also experience blah blah blah. Be sure when you mirror your prospect's mood that your tone is very sincere. When you sincerely acknowledge your prospect's comments, concerns and feelings, your persuasive power increases. Matching in energy level. Some people all always seem to be relaxed and mellow. Others seem to be constantly active or vivacious. Seek to me mirror your prospects in energy level. This will be an another su subtle way you are in sync with, with your prospect. Now let it, let's talk talk about the Embedded com commands are, are, are also powerful tool in speaking. So certain phrases have specific command forms that follow two to four words rule. Phrases can include word association, cause and effect statements, presuppositions, questions, hidden suggestions or analogies. Essentially, we are looking for phrases that ju jump out at us. Consider the following example, become wealthy, how good it feels, feel good, change your life, use this process, use this skill, buy now, going to happen, follow my lead, become really interested, learn quickly, learn how, use this material, read each word, act now, you will understand, enjoy life improve your results. Studies show that embedded commands can actually change our, our attitudes and beliefs. Even if we are totally unaware that this has happened, it is in this way that embedded commands are effective. The conscious mind has no opportunity to analyze or evaluate the material. We then can create expectations or behavioral changes with embedded commands as well as with and direct and indirect su suggestions. The co conscious subconscious mind will create an internal re reality to match the commands. Now le let's talk, talk ab about the Am amazing power of endorsements. 
we all know what endorsements are. Companies use famous people to pitch their products. So we will associate that individual and their success with the product. For example, Bill Kokospi endorses Gel O and Kododak. Mike Michael Jordan pitches for Nike and Hanes underwear. And Tiger Woods does add for Knife Gogo golf balls. And weak automobiles. We tend to like products and services and ideas that are endorsed by people we like, regardless of the quality of product. Sometimes we will even buy a product for the first time simply based on the celebrity endorsement. We naturally want to be associated with fame, fortune, success. That is why we follow the lead of celebrities we admire, respect and like. It's also why we use the products they endorse. It is amazing to see teenagers ignore their parents' warnings about drugs, but when their favorite star or professional athlete says it's not cool, they stop. This is the power of association. Now let, let's talk talk about, about words that re, repel and sub, superior words. Con, contract, whose sub, superior word is agreement or paperwork. Sign here. Uh, superior word is okay the pa, pa, paperwork. Autograph. Sell. Uh, sub, superior word, word is get involved. Cancellation. Superior word is right of re, re, rescission. Salesperson, sub superior word is business consultant, com, com commission, superior word is fee for mama my services, cost, sub superior word is investment, credit card, superior word is form of payment, problem, superior word is challenge, objections, a, a sub superior word is aid area of concern. Now let's start talk about um, the com- com- commitments. The, the different t- types of com- commitments are they there? Small com- commitments, re- written commitments, and public commitments. Small commitments often later lead to large commitments. For example, salespeople often focus first on securing an initial order if even if it is a small one once this is accomplished the customer will be more la- likely to com- commit to ba- buying from them again Re- written commitments are usually more powerful than verbal com- com- commitments we know the power of the re- written word when contracts are signed and prom- promises put into writing, the common commitment le- le- level correspondingly increases tenfold. Public commitments are stronger than pra- private commitments. Taking a public stand that is witnessed by others compels us to continuously endorse that common commitment. Otherwise, we risk being seen as inconsistent, weak, or dishonest. Logos. Logos is a su- substance of, of a message or the lo- logic presented to provide proof to the listener. And Aristotle believed that humans are fundamentally reasonable people who make decisions based on what makes sense. This ma- manner of reasoning is what enables the audience to fa- find the message persuasive and con- convincing. Modern day master persuaders run into three major factors that make persuasion a great greater challenge than it was in the past. First, people are bit better educated and have access to more information than they did in any other time in history. With the explosion of the internet, information is instantly available. We can now find out the cost of a car before we even enter the dealership. The second roadblock to persuasion is that today's customers are increasingly doubtful and skeptical. The number of persuasive arguments we see and hear every day is growing at an alarming rate and it takes more and more effort to sort out the valid offers from the scams.
the third barrier to persuasion is choice. Now via the internet, the consumer has across the world market. In the uh, past, if you had the only store in town, that, that is where people had to stop. Now bookstore owner has to compete with hundreds of bo bookstores ar around the globe and with M Amazon uh, for, for, for the same business.